okay, Oliver, okay. One sec, I need to interrogate this guy. One sec, I need to turn on my voice modulator. You have failed this city. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Wolf here, and today, I'm speaking. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to say, I know I haven't made a video in a while. Second, there's two other looks you can do with this costume. First, you can do this one. You can do like with the hood. I like it without the hood. Cause that's how speedy is, I just like it there, it looks cool. Then, oh and I bet you're, wait there's no freaking string, yeah. Put double side T. Use it, it works. But there's another look to it, which is sunglasses and a hat. And you're like, what the heck? Why would you be doing that? Because, well, in this photo right here, he has that. Like, he has glasses and a hat, so I thought I'd do that. That one's a cool one. But, ooh, maybe, let's see what this looks like. Sorry, there's a mirror. That also looks pretty cool. But I like this mask. This one's actually formed to my face. I did craft foam. And yeah. So let's get started on how I made it. Oh, and actually these arrows really work and this bow really works. Um, yeah, so, let's get the glasses on. Okay, so first off, the first part I got was a red t-shirt, it was kind of baggy, but then I got it, and you can see right here that I fitted it with Hawkeroo. If anything doesn't fit, if you don't know how to sew, just do that. Uh, I'm a, gonna learn how to sew for costumes, but yeah. So then this jacket, Oh, actually, wait, I'll talk about this logo. So, it's basically like a blue yoga mat. Here, I'll go grab some material of it. This is a failed Deathstroke costume that I tried to make. I didn't really like the look. But it's like a thick yoga mat. And that's what this is. And I cut it in a circle. And then it's really rounded because I got craft foam, glued it there, and then cut slits folded them over so it was round like that. Then I just made a red ass out of foam, hot glued that on, and then this is permanently hot glued there. These gloves are, so a morph suit, gloves, just cut off, would cut off the fingers, simple. Um, this jacket, well, it's getting a little small for me. It has holes for it. But this jacket is, since I live in Arizona, it's ASU. You can use any co color jacket you want. This is your own design. You don't have to copy me. So don't be like, oh, I have to go up here a minute. Okay. But yeah. So I wanted to do a simple design the front. And the quiver, I cannot take it off. That's It's just glued to the shirt. I used the yoga mat stuff. You see that? Right there. Yeah, that's red. The yoga mat painted red. Right here, this stuff. And then I made like a tube out of craft foam. And then I glued these, this part to it. And then I made like a little um, design, like an arrow with an S in it. And I bet you're like, wait, how are the arrows not falling out? And that's well. You see, here, let me take off the suit. Okay, so see, it's just an AC jacket. But, and you can see the yoga mat and stuff. But, oh yeah, and this red shirt, I cut off the sleeves. For, but you're like, how does it not come out? Well, I cut a bunch of little holes so they are secure. And if you want me to test out the, we'll show you, let me show you the arrows first. 
I tried to make them identical, and then I made a different one. But here they are. Wait, let me line them up. Then I made this one, which is supposed to be like an arrow when it sticks to the wall and it explodes. That's what this is. But, yeah, uh, I'll just tell you how I made the arrow because I was going to film it, but then I was like, it's too much of a hassle. So basically, I got arrows from this uh, Brave Bow. Brave is a Disney movie. Here's a picture of it. Yeah, so I got the arrows from that. This is how big they normally were. And on the, those, these, the, these, I added a pen, like I took apart the pen, hot glued it there, held it for like a couple of minutes. Then I spray painted it brown, like a copper brown. Then I added this yellow foam to keep it secure and for looks. And then I painted this part yellow. And then this is the yoga mat covered in yellow craft foam. And that's how I did those. And if you're wondering, does the bow work with the arrows? Oh, guys, look at that. So I shot it, and it, it's like, look, look what happened. So you were right there. Basically, I set the camera right here. And when I shot it towards the camera, I got stuck in here. That's awesome. But, yes, it really does work. Um, yeah, they all work. And how I made the bow was, this is not the bow it came with, as you saw in the picture. I got this bow. Here's a picture of that bow. So yeah, there's that bow. And as you see, it was like green and stuff. So I spray painted it black everywhere. And then I painted these parts with white spray paint. Then I painted red over it. Then I added these parts with yellow craft foam that go all the way around. Then I did this part with yellow craft foam. And this is probably the, the oh, I had to tighten it a lot though with the string. like. So I'll keep that in mind, but now mine's like bigger. And uh, oh, no, no, no. and I bet you're like, wait, why didn't you just use the arrows from that bow? Well, I got this like two years ago when I lost all the arrows. So yeah, I just recently painted it. Thank you, mom. So this, I'm in her bathroom right now. Uh, yeah. So. Yeah, I think that's it. And I just, I got these Star Wars sunglasses for Easter. And then I got this hat. From my favorite football team, ASU thing. And I'll put a link. I think I'll try and put a link somewhere in the video. Maybe in the description, maybe at the end of the video. I don't know. To this girl, she taught me how to make one of these masks. But yeah, I'm gonna go post for the thumbnail, so peace, keep on cosplaying, bye. On the right, watch two of my other videos on how to make stuff. Subscribe on the left, and watch how I made the mask on a different channel over there. Peace, keep on cosplaying, bye.